In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a candlestick chart. You've probably seen these before, representing this change in stock prices by day. And that's what I'm going to show you to build in this video. The data set I'm connected to is Facebook's historical stock prices. You can get access to this data set in the description for this video. Now to simplify things, I'm going to start by just focusing on the last three months of data. So I'm going to choose a relative date filter and change it to months and just choose the last three months. But And I want the data to be by day, so I'm going to right click and drag the date field to the columns and I'm going to choose continuous date. You can see these are all of the dates that I have stock prices for and there are some blanks in here for weekends and for holidays. So what I want to look at is the opening price. I'm going to put that on the rows and I'm going to change the mark type to a Gantt bar. Now I need each of these bars to be adjusted either up or down based on whether the price increased or decreased. So for example, let's look at November 9th. The opening price was $289.87. The closing price is $278.77. So I want that bar to go down. So to do that, I'm going to need to create a calculated field. I'm going to call this one change in price. And the simple formula is the sum of the close minus the sum of the open. Then hit OK. And then let's drop that onto the size shelf. And now we can see that our bar goes down. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to color code these bars by whether there is an increase or a decrease. So I'm going to create another calculated field and I'm going to call it increase. And all I'm going to look at is the change in price. Is it bigger than zero? If it is, then that's going to be a positive change. So I'm going to drag that field onto the color shelf. And then I want to go ahead and edit those colors. I'm going to make the falses a reddish color. And I'm going to make the positives a greenish color. And we can see the positives and the negatives throughout the last three months. Great. Now, you can see my bars are packed uh, pretty tightly together left to right. So I'm going to click on the size shelf and just reduce the size a bit to give me a bit more space. But that, is, that shows me the first part of the candlestick. So that shows me this, uh, this range here. But what I want to see is the difference also from the high to the low throughout the day. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and drag the high onto the rows as well. Now on this shelf, I'm going to go ahead and take the increase off of the, uh, this, the um, color shelf. And I'm going to take the change off of the color shelf as well. I'm going to drag the low in place of the close, just so I can verify that I know the data is working right. So in this particular cell, I can see that the high price is 292, the low price is 278, so I want the bar to go down. So I'm going to create another calculated field, and I'm going to call this change from high to low. And this calculation is going to be the sum of the low minus the sum of the high. And hit OK. And we're going to put that field onto the size shelf for the second set of bars. OK? And we can see, for example, on November the 9th, our high was 292, our low was 278, so we wanted to go down 11. All right? So now I'm going to click on the size shelf, and I'm going to reduce the size of this mark so that it's as thin as possible. Now all I need to do is click on my, my sum of high field on the row shelf and make it a dual axis. I'm going to right click on the axis and choose synchronize. I'm going to click on it again and move my, my gray bars to the back. Okay, we're getting close now. Now again, uh, what I want to do is I want to edit one of the, it doesn't matter which axis, I'm going to edit an axis and I'm going to uncheck include zero so that we can zoom in on the data a bit closer. From here, it's a bit of formatting. I'm going to hide the axis on the right-hand side. I'm going to change the name of the axis on the left to just say price, maybe stock price. I'm going to edit my header at the bottom to get rid of the date title. 
I'm going to format my view to get rid of the grid lines. So I'm going to turn them on and back off. I'm going to get rid of my zero lines. And at my borders, I'm going to go ahead and turn my row dividers off. And I'm going to turn my column dividers off. I'm just trying, trying to clean the chart up a bit. Okay, so there we have it. So this is our candlestick chart tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Have a great day.